Hi, welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator CS6 lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about paths. Now paths have the real power illustrated along with brushes because this is a drawing application after all. So this is what you really want to learn how to use when you, once you master paths and the brush tools, you, you'll have the, the heart of Illustrator in your hand. The power is there. Now also another thing because a lot of the Adobe tools are, are similar like if you master paths here, you'll learn it. You'll have it. Um, you'll have it down in the other in the other application programs also. But today, let's concentrate on paths and let's get started. Okay, here's an overview of what we'll be going through, and I'll be checking these off as, as I go along because uh, we're going to be moving pretty fast today. Uh, so I can get all of this in. Uh, most of your path tools are in this section here. Um, the line segment tool is here. So if I just click it, an uh, option uh, box will come up. So I don't want to do that right now because I don't have anything specific you know, that I want to do. So with the line segment tool, I'll just click and drag you know, to create. I can hold down the shift key to create a perfect horizontal or vertical line. And that's pretty much it with the uh, line segment tool. So again, uh, I, I, I clicked there, but I can double click it. Anything you see, to, I can bring up the options. So also, as you can see, there's a little tri uh, triangle in the corner. And if you remember, anything that has that has other tools. So we've talked about uh, the bottom three tools. So let's look at the arc tool. And here are the selections, option menus for that. Um, so you can change the access, um, what base is going to, what it's going to be convex, convex. So we've talked about that a little bit too. So let's just cancel this. And again, you just pull and drag uh, to create your arc. And that's pretty much it with the arc tool. Okay. So let me just check those off. Arc tool. Now we're going to get to the tool that we'll be talking about most here, and that is the pen tool. Okay, so I want to go to a layer. Uh, create a grid, and the way you get the grid is view, and uh, since the grid is showing, it's saying high grid, um, but right now, so I can hide it, grid, and show grid. Okay, so, uh, let me go here, change this to black, and now we have a stroke. So, if I'm using the pen tool, you know, I can freestyle it, and just make these all I want and come back and try to um, modify them. Um, but what I want to do is to have some control over, over it. So if I hold down, if I pull here, whoops, see that's an open path. So let me deselect. And using this, so with the direction that I pull is the length that my curve will be. So we'll go in the same direction. So since I kind of have this here, I want it, these to match. You know, so I can get it pretty perfect. Now right now I'm still freestyling, but if I want a perfect, I want this to be perfectly straight when I drag the handles, I'll just hold down the shift key. And now, you know, I have this exactly the way I want it. Okay. Now, let me show you how to make s to change the direction. So now I'm holding down the shift key. Make it pulling my handles perfectly straight. Going over here. So now I want to make an arch instead of a curve. So what I can do is hover over here until I see an open triangle. And that means that now it's a convert point. So when I do that, uh, but it's not kind of kind of doing what I want. So what I like to do is just hold down the option key. So now it goes to a convert to point. And that'll happen if you hit too soon, which is what I did. So you just dismiss that dialog box. Okay, so I have convert to point. So now I can pull that handle up and put it right over the handle that I want. So now 
when I release the Option key, it converts back to the Pen tool. And I can hold down the Shift key again and pull. And so now it's going in the direction that I want. So now I can create an arch. So again, that last handle determines the direction your curve is going to be in. So I'm going to hold down the Option key again, have my Convert tool. I'm going to pull. Put that right there. Convert back to the Pen tool. And now I have an arch. OK, so uh, now while we're on the Convert tool, uh, let me show you. Because you, there's different ways to modify this now. Again, I have Smart Guides on, so I can see uh, the anchor when I go. So the Smart Guide will show me where anchor point is. So here's one right there. And you can see these different anchor points here. So now 